<coughs> uh, Darius typically wins this matchup with Ghost, so I'm not sure how Ignite changes it. It probably fucks, I mean, it obviously fucks over my healing. I mean, that's not a question, that's just a fact. I just don't know, like, how badly does it fuck up my healing, you know? Like, is it gonna fuck it up to the point where I can't all in him, or...? Hmm, actually, he just fucked himself. Oh, I just fucked myself. I actually was about to all in him and then I let my Q stacks fall off. That's bad. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't play around the level 3 hard enough. Hello? I'm healing here! I might be able to actually still beat him here. How- how did I get hit by that Q? It knocked him away from me! It's supposed to knock me into them! It's not a fucking escape move for my opponent! Dude, that was seriously fucked up. Like, I eat into him intentionally to dodge the Q, and then it knocked him far enough- Like, that doesn't even make sense! Why would it knock him in a different direction than where it's putting my character? So chat, imagine your jungler always being in top lane. That's my life. Actually, they seem to have dealt with the most agrarious My fucking Q missed. My fucking Q, he, he walked slightly out of it, and it missed. Anyway, you don't- I've never ended up getting, like, a 600 gold bounty off farming anymore. And certainly, I've never been 0-10 with a farm bounty anymore. So, they have dealt with that. Like, I'll be fair to them. I haven't seen those happen. Really? Well, Twitch, at this point, my item lead is just so big, and I have red buff that it doesn't- It doesn't really matter how hard I play, how bad I play. I'm just too far ahead to fail. It's like, okay, yeah. It's like, it's like a trick question where every answer just kills you. Since you're so handsome, why spend your time making video games? How to become an adult movie star? I thought this was an adult movie star. Twitch it. You guys have been watching me fuck someone with a horse cock for about 14 minutes now. I'm not gonna try to fight Darius anymore. Too tanky, too tanky. I'm gonna pop my biscuit, get more mana rolling. We're gonna run through here. That'll get me right into them. We're gonna take two turret shots here.
I mean, is Hecarim even considered broken, though? I mean, that's the thing. Is he even considered broken? Like, when I go to win rates and when I go to top, his win rate is 51% with a 4% pick rate. That's not that bad. That That's actually incredible. Wait, we have a Lux? Shit. Yes, Twitch chat, the, the 14 kill Hecarim with also the highest CS in the game does a, does a bit of damage, yeah. No, I, I believe it. Idiots. Okay, let me look at this, Twitch chat. Let me look at this. So when I go to Diamond Plus, let's go, let's not even do Platinum, let's do Diamond Plus. Hecarim still only has a 53% win rate, and his pick rate is still only 5%. To put that into perspective, that's still lower than Ribbon. I think maybe there could be a case for nerfing Ignite healing with his W. I think there's a case for making that no longer an interaction, and that's that's probably fair, actually. It's probably a fair interaction. That one does seem to be a bit powerful, especially in the early game. There's nothing to teleport to here. Remember when you guys kept going on about Olaf? Now look at Olaf. Basically forgotten. Olaf top, low win rate, low pick rate. Oh, I went fucking armor and now I'm against Tom Kench. I'm an idiot. God damn it. That hit me? Really? Video game? Okay. Really? That hit me? What is the hitbox on Tom Kench's Q? Because it seems to pretty much just be, if you exist, fuck it, it hits you. Oh shit. And he lost all the CS. I'm not saying that's game over, but unless another lane starts to hard carry in a little bit, a little bit. <sighs> Every time I fight Tom Kench top, I remember how shit this champion's design is. It's like they made a champion with a bunch of ideas, forgot to actually give it, like, a kit, and then we're just like, fuck it, just give it a shitload of damage everywhere. It's like they designed the entire kit around the concept of eating an ally, and then they were like, what's the rest of the kit? And they were like, R rest of the- oh, oh shit! Were we supposed to make a rest of the kit? This is fun. Tanks are so interesting, I feel. Whenever I fight a tank, I think to myself, what an interesting champion. I love the way he just walks towards me while spamming every button on cooldown and outtrades me while dodging nothing and eating every ability. Like, this is why I feel tanks should just honestly be removed from the game and completely remade. Because this design is just shit. Like, who fucking makes a champion design of... They automatically win everything ever. There's nothing you can do.
Like, I think tanks should honestly all be removed from the game and redone. Champions like Tom Kench, Maokai, Cho'Gath. Literally, their entire champion design is like it was designed for complete fucking idiots to still be able to enjoy the game. They have no mechanics. They have no skill. They have nothing you can do to outplay them. They literally just continuously right click on you forwards. If it works, they kill you. If it doesn't work, they can't outplay you because they have no mechanics. Like, how does Tom Kench outplay you? If his dumbass thing works, then he just kills you, right? Like, if his, if his thing where he walks forward and repeatedly right clicks you works, then he kills you. If it doesn't work, then he can't do anything. So they have to give him enough power where he can still kill you. And so a complete fucking idiot can play Tom Kench and bully the crap out of top laners. And it's just, it's... It's like fucking bizarro world why that's still in the game. It honestly, it honestly feels like, like freakishly bizarre why that's still in the game. Just go ahead and, uh, yeah. Whoa, Alawi? Well, uh, okay, here's the thing. I'm not saying Alawi is great design. What I am saying is there's a lot of counterplay you can do to Alawi. I'm not saying it's fun counterplay. I'm not saying it's really even possible counterplay. I'm just saying it does exist. I mean... Okay. Okay, so you can dodge her E. You can, on certain champions, dodge even during her ult. I know on Kled you can do it by using your E and then your E again. You can't dodge if they've already been activated, but if you just use it, because she's going to be spamming W on cooldown, you can kind of get into a rhythm where you can actually dodge it. Again, I'm not saying like again, I'm not trying to say that Ilawi is a perfect example or even a good example of a champion with counterplay. All I'm saying is that she does have it, you know. Whereas how do you fight against Tom Kenj? Don't get auto attacked. Don't get hit by his Q. You know, it's like, hmm, are these really things that are doable? I get to heck him for trying to play around top. How the hell do you beat Bruiser Rengar top with grasp? Well, Remember I'm talking about no counterplay? This is one of these examples of a champion that kind of sucks. It, it, uh, Rengar top basically is no counterplay. What you need to do is outstat him and most champions can't outstat him early game. Well, I mean, again, guys, it just comes down to Rengar top is super fucking cheese. That's kind of the problem. I would say, honestly, that's a problem with top lane right now. It is so much easier to cheese top lane than it is to play top lane properly. It's so much easier to play like Rengar top or to play like poppy top than it is to play an actual top laner.